Hi, Matt from Invariant here, and welcome to the tutorial on using the Intersection Editor tool in Rapid Plan. The Intersection Editor tool has been designed to create complex intersections in just a few mouse clicks, saving you time and effort. It will also assist you in adding corners, turn lanes, markings, crosswalks, and lane symbols. Once created, an intersection remains fully adjustable and editable. Let's create one now. To use the tool, you simply just hover over the road tab here in the tools palette and select the intersection and tool as seen here. Clicking it will enable the tool for use on your plan. When beginning the intersection, the first mouse click will act as your center point and with subsequent clicks I'll adding more intersection roads. I can then right click to finish the drawing and then click again to select my intersection object. This will then display the intersection editor the panel in the top left of your canvas. It will have four tabs for different intersection elements. The roads, road extensions, markings and symbols. The roads panel will display all of the roads I've created and if I select a specific road here its properties will be editable in the object properties palette. I can also hold the Control alt key to select my roads and if I hold Control alt and shift all at once I can select and edit more than one road at once. So to demonstrate I'll add an extra lane to all of my roads that are selected. I will now jump over to road extensions. With the intersection editor turning lanes and corners become a breeze. To add corners I click the road corners button and then the editor will display icons where they can be added. Then it only takes a single click to add in a road corner. Creating turning lanes is just as easy as seen here. The length of a turning lane and the radius of a road corner can be adjusted by selecting the road extension by clicking it in the editor panel and then just adjusting its yellow offset point as demonstrated here. You will then see a complete set of adjustable properties is available for altering in its extensions properties palette. You can now move on to your markers elements. The idea works the same as your road extensions. You can click the type of object you want to add. So from here I'll add a couple of stop lines and lane markers as well. Note that when an object is selected, I can drag it out using its offset point. Also, its properties are fully editable in the properties palette, so I can adjust the offset manually if required. In the next tab, we can add some lane marker signs and crosswalks. In the properties palette, you will notice that both the sign and the color can be changed as well. I'll also add in some crosswalks as well. All objects in the intersection remain anchored, so if I change the intersection's shape, the elements within it will reposition automatically at the same offset from the actual intersection area. The way that element positions are worked out is based off their offset and also the orientation mode that has been set. So for example, the crosswalk here is at an offset of 4 meters from a line that is perpendicular to the road, as you can see here by its reference line. Alternatively, you can make the reference line aligned, which means the points of the line will be opposite of where both of the roads end. For some intersection elements, you can also edit the style of the actual object. You can do this by changing the edit mode here to style. And as you can see, I can go through different object options. If needing to edit an object even further, 
you can actually detach the element from the intersection. To do this, you can select the Detach from Intersection button here in the editor panel. It will then just become a regular object on your canvas area. You can then edit it, its control points and properties as required. You can also use the ungroup command, which its shortcut is Control plus U, to ungroup the entire intersection. This makes all of the intersection into independent, fully editable objects. Finally, I will now guide you through snapping roads with the intersection. To do this, you can select a new road object, and then you can draw out a new road and hold down the control button when drawing it. And if you click onto the existing inter intersection control point, it will snap the roads together. As you can see, it smoothly merges with the intersection. From what you have seen here, the process is very straightforward and creating a normal intersection just takes a few clicks as demonstrated. For a detailed description of using the intersection editor, please read our user manual, which is linked below. This wraps up using the intersection editor tool. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe below to be updated on new content at Invarium.